Hello everyone, welcome to your spiritual liaison, one, two, three, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself first. Please live your absolute best life and be sure to get an amazing life on every single day. All right, Pisces and cross watchers. So let's go ahead and get started with this reading. Let's see what's going on. All right. So first card out. Seven of Pentacles, seeing, um, waiting to see something, something coming good, something you've been working on. It's coming, you know, um, in the past, but I, I mean, it's coming in the future, but I get that you're ready to see it happen now. You could feel like things are moving sort of slow um, and you're ready to see things kind of move a little faster with something that you've been desiring and working. I get that with this eight, with this eight of pentacles and the seven of pentacles, you've been working diligently to get to something, learning, perfecting your craft, perfecting your craft. And I get the, the um, ending results. You're going to see like that prosperity from you perfecting something like learning something, mastering something, um, really studying hard and working on getting some, this could be related to your finances. Um, so it looks like that you are going to, it's like you're tired of seeing things that, like, you're like, when am I going to see the fruits of my labor? Um, but I get the, um, you know, it is coming. It's, it's not like it's not coming. It's just, it's moving at a slower pace than what you would prefer. So please don't lose sight, you know, don't lose sight of, um, of, of what's going on. Like just keep putting, I get that if you keep putting your best foot forward, things are going to work out for you. You know what I mean? Like it's not going to, um, you don't have to worry about things not working out. Um, you may need to even work a little harder. That's what I get. You, I get that you are working hard, but you may need to be a little bit more focused um, and patient. You got to have patience for this. So with anything that you want, it's like um, nothing is given to you easily. Like nothing is, it's like you have to, I get that you feel like the work that you've been putting in is enough. I get that you have the stamina and the endurance to do more. Um, and so I get that, you know, it's going to pay off, but I get that you need to put more effort into something. Then you have the nine of wands and this and the nine of wands speaks of things like, you know, if you could see her face, she looks sort of like worried. This is like the wounded warrior um, ready for battle, you know, um, somebody who's, you know, who's already overcome, already overcome a lot. But it's like she's she's if you can see, she still has her wand there. She's ready for battle. Um and she's ready. She, it's like she is worried, but she can overcome this. Whoever, or she, I'm saying she, but because it's a, a woman on the um, card, but it could easily be male energy because male, some men do embody female energy as well. And so I get that, you know, it's like you could feel like you're in the eye of the storm. A lot is happening around you right now. And so it's like you're bracing for the next salvo. You know, for those who don't know what salvo is, it's like, you know, how in movies you'll see like them, you know, all shoot off their guns at the same time because they're preparing for war. Somebody who's like preparing for war, you know, it's like you're pre preparing for the next challenge in your life or something. Um and things may get a little bit worse before it gets better for you. So, you know, just be patient, continue to work, work a little harder. I get that you may need to put a little bit more effort into, you know, something that's going on. Um, and it's like you want to see things, but but do prepare yourself because things may get a little bit worse before it get better for you, Pisces or cross watchers. Okay, then we have the eight of wands. Yes, yeah. so it's like you're trying to move on from a situation. It's like you want to kind of, you could even be decided, like you got to be patient because you could even be at that point, like you just kind of want to give up and redirect your energy or something. Something that you've been working towards, you can feel like you just want to give up on it because you're not seeing things happen as fast as you want. But I get that you just have, it's like you have to put more effort into it. Then we have the sun card. Yeah. So it's like, it's like you you are learning, you're being shown what you need to do 
to help improve your circumstances. I get that you're learning how to do this. Are you willing to put the effort in? It's like you're being you're being shown what you need to do to obtain su success about something, like to obtain success. But it's like, are you willing to put the work in, that extra effort? Because I, I get that you feel like you've been putting in um, a lot of work towards something. But I get that you can do you can do better. You can do more. I get that you're, you could even be like sort of exhausted, like, oh, my goodness, like I've already done all of this. I've already been through that. But prepare for the next challenge, though. Prepare for the next challenge that is coming. Um, you know, something that you may have to work through that may be a little difficult for you, things like that. OK, then we have everything is fine. And so you have the nine of wands and then you have the ten of swords. And so that really speaks of like, you know, um, like something every but as the cards say, everything is going to be fine. Things may get a little worse before it get better. So you may face some situations where you're dealing with some people who are trying to make it harder for you, make your job harder, make things, make you have to work even more, more than the average person to obtain something. Um, but it also speaks of like with the number 10, with this being the 10 of swords, it also speaks of major change, like change on the way and being, you know, resistant and things like that. Um, being, I mean, being, um, persistent, you know, resilient. It's like change is coming. A path is going to clear itself for you. I get that you, like I said, you have to keep the faith that things are going to get worse before it gets better for you. And then it's like the next thing you're, the next thing, you know, you're going to see some sort of change, you know, like that, you know, there's a, I wish I could find it, but there's like, don't give, it's like, don't give up right before you get to your, it's like you're working, working, working gradually to get there. But I get that you're really thinking about giving up on something. And I get that if you give up, you'll never get to the seven, like you won't see the fruits of your labor because you're, you feel already exhausted and tired and you know, like you've already put in so much work, you've already been through so much. But I get that if you stay persistent with this, the change that you're looking for is definitely going to come. It's like you could even feel like you're in this battle alone, like you're battling whatever you're going through something alone. I get that you, like I said, you may even feel like it's other people causing more um issues and you're like trying to deliberately make your life harder than what it has to be or something and slow down the process of your success. But I get that the change that you're looking to see come, it's coming, you know, and it's like a, some sort of path is going to sort of clear itself, you know? And so... And like with this song card, it's like you're... It's like you're you're looking at your identity, you're looking at your self-esteem, your self-image um, or something. Page of Wands. The Temperance card, a, pay, a message is coming in. Ten of Pentacles. So a message could be coming in from like perfect timing, like something is coming in right at the right time. You're getting a message about something right at the perfect time, right when you're thinking about leaving something behind, right when you're about to give up on something that you feel like you've been putting in a lot of work for. It's like a message. Some Something is going to come in at the right time. This could be from somebody younger than you or like with younger energy, but it's going to be perfect timing because it's going to give you the motivation to keep going. You know, it's going, it's like, it's going to light your fire again. And then we have the 10 of pentacles. Um, yeah. So like that stability, having, creating that stability, it's going to award you the, you know, to be able to create 
that stability that you've been looking to have in your life. Um, but I get that if you give up too soon, it's not going to happen. It's just like, you know, you, you're you looking for a life full of wealth. You know what I mean? Um, or or like generational wealth. Or you could be, this could even speak of like an inheritance or something like that. But it's like you want to make sure that your family is safe and secure. Um, and I get that that's what you're working on. You know what I'm saying? But I also get a mess soon as you feel like, oh my God, this is too much. I put way too much energy into this. I get that you have the stamina and the endurance to even put more into this. Something that you only you only you know your situations, Pisces and Cross Watchers. But I get that you do have the stamina to put more into something. Um, it's just that you're getting frustrated. That things aren't moving the way, you know, as fast as you want them to move. Or either you're aware that somebody is making a situation harder and causing you to do more work. But I get that the road is going to be clear for you. It's going to be clear for you because you're standing. It's like you have, even though you're wounded, you're still ready to fight a new challenge, fight a new battle or something. And things may get a little worse. And that could be the reason why you decide like, you know what? I put in so much and look at how things are turning out. I'm not seeing things turn out the way that I want. I've been listening to Tarot. They've been saying my life is going to get better, but it's it's like things are still the same or it's sort of getting worse. I get that you just, you're not seeing like the bigger picture in a situation. Your luck is going to change with this 10 of Pentacles. Your luck is definitely going to change. And I get that you, you could be getting a message or some sort of reassurance that you're moving in the right direction direction and not to give up at during the it's like going to be perfect timing okay then we have listen to your intuition so you need to listen to your intuition about something um if you know you have been slacking in a situation slacking on something sort of whether i don't care what the situation is it could be like you know what i've been dieting for a whole year and i have and i've only lost 50 pounds. I wanted to lose a hundred by this time. Pisces, I get it's something else that you may need to pay attention to. You may need to go to your physician and get like a your primary care physician and get like, um, um, you know, a full work over like blood work, go to an, what are they called? Oncologist, go to an oncologist to get a full blood work over to find out is there anything like thyroid issues, anything like that. I feel like I need to say that to somebody who um, that may be kind of slowing down um, hypothyroid issues or something that's slowing the fact that you're able, you can't lose weight as fast as you, you're not losing weight as fast as you want. So you can sort of change things. If this is money related, then I get that you may need to do something. You may be like, you may need to tighten up when you're spending a little more or sort of like um, use discernment when you're spending. Um, stop giving so much to other people. Or you may even need to pick up like a uh, something that will help you with passive income if you're saving or trying to improve your finances to get to a goal or something like that. Because I get that you're just like, oh my goodness, like I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. You know, it just seems like things are getting harder for me. You know, what in the world is happening? But I get that you actually have, like I said, the tenacity to really actually do more. Even if you're, it's like you're sleeping on yourself or something, Pisces. Peaceful resolution. So... Remember, okay, so with this, like with this nine of wands and a peaceful resolution, I get that you are you could be looking at things being worse than what it really is too. You could be looking at some sort of like um, situation or a, a predicament that you're in worse than what it really is. So it's like, of course, if you're already in an uncomfortable situation and a new, and a new um, challenge arise, it's going to seem bigger than what it is. It's going to seem sometimes like it's the straw that's breaking the camel's back. When in fact, it's just something that you are sort of, it's like your perception of it is sort of off because you're already going through something. You're already exhausted, tired, feeling like you've been through so much before, but I get that you do have it in you to even put more effort into something, 
even more effort to see it, that that outcome. And it's like your path is going to be clear about something. Like you're, you're getting help either from earthly beings or from the angels or something. Then we have, it's up to you. So it's really up to you how you want how you want this to go, Pisces. It's really up to you if you're going to give up right before you get to the goal, right before you obtain, right before you win. And I get, like I said, that you're going to, with this page of wands, some message could come in, just giving you that boost that you need. It's up to you how you want this to turn out. I get that these the angels or somebody in your life is putting your fate in your own hands. You have free will, you know? It's like you have free will if you want this thing to turn out the way that you want, but you have to put it, you gotta be resilient and um and and you know put in a little more effort, okay? Like you know, like sort of how you know how you see a race. It's like when they they try they they running as fast as they can, but the, if you if you really notice, it's like they sort of like when they get closer to that goal to that finish line, they put in everything they got to get over that line as quick as they can, right? So it's like they don't slow down and and start to pull back because they're close to the finish line they sort of try to increase their speed in the very beginning in the middle and at the end you know once they get ahead of everybody it's kind of like they they you know they keep going keep going keep going if they see somebody so, like out the out the corner of their eye sort of picking up they could pick up their speed again but when they get to that finish line it's like they give it everything they have to get over that finish line first so and i get pisces you got it in you to do it you just gotta like you know sort of like even if you're wounded even if you're like okay i'm prepared for the next challenge things look like okay i thought things were getting better i'm putting in all this hard work but it seemed like it's i'm dealing with an another challenge has a has arisen or something like that um or has arose <laughs> but it's just like the it's like the road is going to be clear for you um and you're getting a message in and it's going to be at the perfect timing so it's up to you to either give up or keep trying it's up to you what you want to do reconsider yeah so pisces i get that you if you're thinking about leaving something where you feel like you don't see things turning around or it seems too hard and you feel like it's a bunch of wasted time. I think I, it is like this card says, you need to reconsider. You need to reconsider because this is the this is the final outcome. This ten of this ten of pentacles. You know what I mean? That safe provide having that safe and stability that you want for your family, for yourself. That's the final outcome. So it's up to you if you give up on it or not. You know what I mean? All right. That's the end of the reading. Love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me. Appreciate you for hitting that like, share, and subscribe button. Make sure you share my channel. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you to all my members. And I will talk with you soon.